In other news, the Fed's raised interest rates again this week, the ninth time since last March. This rate hike will have an immediate impact on Americans who carry credit card debt. Tanya Riviero explains how there's always ways to lessen the blow. Americans have never held more credit card debt than they do right now. Almost $1 trillion total, an increase of nearly 19% over the end of last year. And now with the Fed's ninth interest rate hike in a row to 5%. Inflation remains too high and the labor market continues to be very tight. Many Americans will see an almost immediate increase to their credit card's interest rates. When the Fed raises interest rates, it really kicks in quickly and that interest rate hike applies to currently held balances as well as future balances. Your card's rate is not totally tied to the Fed's actions. Your credit score has a lot to do with it. Here are tips that could bring some relief. If you have good credit, transfer balances to an introductory zero percentage rate card. A lower interest personal loan can also help. And finally, try picking up the phone and asking your card issuer for a lower rate. We found that about 70% of folks who had asked for a lower interest rate on their credit card in the past year got one. And remember, there is a flip side to higher interest rates. They've been great for people who are savers. While no one can predict the Fed's next move in May, experts say it's wise to prepare for both prices and interest rates to continue to go up by paying down that expensive debt and putting away savings in a high-yield account. Tanya Rivero, CBS News, New York.